try different instruments, play the same note, but sound different. Oh, I can help with that. Hi. <laughs> Ow. Oops, sorry. Anyway, you were wondering why I sounded different from my friend Piano. That's me. We sound different because of overtones. Overtones? When I pluck an A, the pitch you hear is at 440 hertz. Hertz is the measurement named after Heinrich Hertz and is used to measure waves. In my case, vibrations per second. Hey, that's a sine wave. I just learned about that in math class today. A pitch is actually an arrangement of different notes called overtones, or harmonics in math. The study of pitch and string tension in music was a foundational event influencing modern physics. Musician, composer, and music theorist Vincenzo Galilei and his son Galileo Galilei were tuning my great-grandpappy the lute and developed the physics to standardize the harmonic series to create equal temperament, no longer using Pythagorean tuning. The first overtone, or the second harmonic, is an octave higher than the fundamental note and it vibrates at 880 hertz. The reason my friend Piano and I sound different despite having the same fundamental A equal to 440 hertz is because each of us uses different overtones from that harmonic series. This is my A at 440 hertz. And this is my A at 440 hertz. Thanks to the harmonic series, we have all sorts of useful physics. Whoa, I didn't know how much music helps define our whole world. Yes, and out of this world, too. Just ask Johannes Kepler about music of the spheres and elliptical orbits. I kind of want to learn an instrument, too, now. It takes lots of practice. Speaking of practice, can we get back to our jam session? Don't you mean physics lab?